When people are happier at work, when they're more productive at work, when they feel good about what they're doing because they're working in their strengths, they go home at night with energy. And when they go home at night with energy, what happens? They have a better relationship with their family. They've got more to give to their kids. They've got more to give to the community. So the spillover effect of creating more positive emotion in work is huge because it even affects our communities. Positive culture is the ultimate competitive advantage. Why? Because it's really hard to duplicate. It means you take your focus off just the lines on the spreadsheet. It means you put your focus on people and emotion. Emotion. How often do we talk about emotion in business? What are you thinking? Think about your last couple of meetings. I'm looking at Sue's face here. Think about your last few meetings. How many times do we talk about emotion in business? Never. And, well, you, maybe after this you will, because what, what emotion is, is energy in motion. You want to put that energy into motion. Because emotion is very important in business. In 2001, I got an email from a client of mine in New York, worked for the Financial Times, and he said, I'm about to make your day. I said, ooh, contract? <laughs> he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Daniel Kahneman had just won the Nobel Prize for economics by proving, where do you hear this folks, that people make decisions based on emotion, not logic. And I'm going, any salesperson in the world could have told you that. 